This is Akaswani Itanagar, the news read by Induchuku. Arunachal Pradesh Staff Selection Board APSSB will be conducting combined higher secondary level examination 2023 for recruitment to a total of 120 Group C post. This information was shared by Chief Minister Pema Khandu in a social media post. He said that this will give more job opportunities for the youth. Candidate will have to apply only through online mode. The online applications will start from July 7 next month and will close on July 27. The tentative date of written examination will be on September 17. In another social media post, Mr. Khandu has loaded the the security forces for successfully arresting three drug peddlers in Longding district. He informed that in a joint operation, Arunachal Pradesh Police and Assam Rifles have seized 197.6 grams of brown sugar and apprehended three drug peddlers at Jedua village in Longding district. He congratulated the forces for the another success in drive to check drug minis in the state. Prime Minister Narendra Modi reviewed 12 projects worth over 1,21,000 crore rupees spread across 10 states and two union territories on Wednesday. The projects were reviewed during the 42nd edition of the Pragati meeting chaired by the Prime Minister. The Prime Minister urged the Chief Secretaries to identify and cover all the eligible street vendors in urban areas especially in Tier 2 and Tier 3 cities. He also instructed that a drive be carried out to encourage digital transactions by street vendors in a mission mode and to give benefits of all the government schemes to family members of Vanidi beneficiaries through Vanidi Say Samridi campaign. Arunachal Pradesh Chief Deputy Chief Minister and NERPC Chairman Chow Namen chaired the 24th Technical Coordination Meet Committee and 24th Northeast Regional Power Committee meetings in Tawang on Wednesday. The meeting deliberated various crucial issues pertaining to the power sector in the region while addressing the challenges and opportunities pertaining to the overall power sector's development in the northeastern region. Addressing the me meeting, Mr. Main said that power is not only a raw material for industries but also a basic necessary necessity for the general public. Therefore, discussion on power sector issues in forums like NERPC are vital. He added that the NERPC plays a crucial role in addressing various challenges and shaping the development narrative of the region. Itanagar Municipal Corporation will recruit over 200 additional staff members shortly. This was informed by Mayor Tame Fasang while carrying the 15th business meeting of IMC on Wednesday. He said that this will positively affect, affect the West management system in the Itanagar city. The mayor also informed that IMC plans to conduct a comprehensive survey for house numbering within its word. This initiative aims to maintain accurate records of the total population residing in each ward and provide information about individuals living in specific buildings or rented rooms. Such data will contribute to improved management and administration within the IMC. The India Meteorological Department said that the southwest monsoon is likely to advance into remaining parts of the country during the next two days. It said the active monsoon conditions are likely to continue over northwest during next two days and along west coast during the next three days. IMD has predicted heavy to very heavy rainfall over Arunachal Pradesh, Meghalaya, Assam, Goa and Ghat areas of Madhya, Ma Maharashtra and sub-Himalayan, West Bengal and Sikkim during the next five days. External Affairs Minister Dr. S. J. Shankar called India's relationship with China a difficult swing. Briefing media on nine years of the Modi government in New Delhi on Wednesday, he said that the state of the border will determine the state of the relationship and the state of the border today is still abnormal. On the relation with Pakistan, he stated that it is not possible to have a normal relationship with Pakistan until there is a departure from the policy of cross-border terrorism. He added that India will not allow terrorism to become a basis for getting into discussion with Pakistan. That's all in this news bulletin. Namaskar.